All right. Let's do it, man. I got it, I got it. You got it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me, what, what are we doing here? Right up to the lift. Okay. Right up to here. Come up, turn around. Pretty much right there. Always lift the lid open. Wait, is it on? Yeah. All right, sweet. Lift open, and then what are we doing? Pull, Can I... pull them both out. Pull them both out. You doing it right? Pull this one back too, or are you good? Sweet. Pretty good machinery, actually. It kind of works. Should I pull it back again? No, just pull. This goes up. Should I pull it? Yeah, pull it out. Pull it out? All right, man. Let's do it. Thank you. Looks pretty Let's good. Go. Yes. Yeah, the machinery's good. It's good machinery. And I mean, it's you like didn't even have to use the bat once. No, I know exactly. <laughs> well, sometimes you might need to actually. Just in case. It's a uh, the the machine works really well, man. All right, let's get some more. Trump has no character. He doesn't give a damn about the Latino community. He's failed businessman. He's, he only cares about the billionaire friends he has and accumulating wealth for those at the top. You know, he says immigrants are poisoning the blood of our country. Give me a break. He wants to do away with the birthright citizenship. Who the hell has said that in the last hundred years? And just the other day, a speaker at his rally called Puerto Rico a floating island of garbage. Well, let me tell you something. I don't, I, I don't know the Puerto Rican that, that I know, or Puerto Rico where I'm in my home state of Delaware. They're good, decent, honorable people. The only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters. His, his, his demonization of Latinos is unconscionable, and it's un-American. It's totally contrary to everything we've done, everything we've been. There's a lot going on. Like, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's literally a floating island of garbage in the middle of the ocean right now. Yeah. I think it's called Puerto Rico. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Let me be clear. I strongly disagree with any criticism of people based on who they vote for. It's, you heard my speech last night and continuously throughout my career. Uh, I believe that the work that I do is about representing all the people, whether they support me or not. Trump is turning Biden's comments and the Democrats' hysteria into another iconic campaign moment. How do you like my garbage truck? This truck is in honor of Kamala and Joe Biden. He then answered questions from the truck, uh, was press conference, more robust press conference than Kamala faces, and then he said this to a rally at Wisconsin today. 250 million Americans are not garbage. 
Let's do more lefties losing it with my next guest, Sky News contributor Kosha Gaida. Kosha, let's have a look at some of the absurd lengths the media has gone to in order to excuse or try to cover up Joe Biden's comments calling half the country garbage. Here is CNN blaming a stutter. Joe Biden has never been a big arena speaker. He's never been the most fluid speaker. And by the way, as someone who had a stutter growing up, it's very obvious to me that there's an apostrophe at the end of supporters there. He was referring to the garbage spewed by supporters, not simply the supporters themselves. Uh, it was a stutter. He's not good with words, really. And not to be outdone, we had this from the ladies of The View. Here is Whoopi Goldberg, who seems to be in a permanent state of hysteria nowadays. I don't understand why all the pearl clutching over Biden's statement, why they all have a problem with what Biden said. Mm -hmm. When what this other guy has said, JD Vance. No, no the, the I'm going to. I'm oh, gonna, the comedian. No, no, I'm going to. No, I'm going to watch the clip. Man whose name should okay. have been. Like a garbage can. You know, it's the first time I've ever said that. We're like a, a garbage can. We're like a garbage can. It's like we're a giant garbage can. Yeah. So he's, he's talking talk about country. The country. The entire yeah. garbage can. population. He's talking about the country, the entire population. That's what they're claiming, Kosher. Wasn't he talking about the fact that unchecked illegal immigration has seen thousands of criminals flood the country and treat the country like a garbage can? Isn't that kind of a fairly important context to add there? Absolutely, but honestly, with the ladies of The View, I don't know if they genuinely understood that or don't understand it, but the American people understand it. This is why immigration is a top two issue. And everybody sees the numbers, everybody sees the very tragic, sad anecdotes, and everybody knows what it means. The mental gymnastics that they and the other guy on CNN are going through to try and describe this is really, it's funny, I think, because of what happened 48 hours before, where they were making a big deal out of trash, and then literally the, but the same thing But Kamala's come out and disowned it now. She's, now. I think, realized no amount of media cover is going to limit to the work. damage. Yep. So she's distanced herself. Is Joe Biden doing this on purpose? Is he trying to hurt the Harris campaign? This is a question. Who knows what's in his mind? You know, it could be sabotage. It could be letting the mask slip, which is what the other side is making hay of. You know, we, we started with the basket of deplorables, which was an inflection point in Hillary's campaign to fascists and garbage. And maybe there is some real belief there as well. Well, this is what uh, I just don't understand, how anybody could question that this is how Democrats and the left see Republicans, see Trump supporters, because we just heard days of them characterising people who attended the rally at Madison Square Garden as being fascist, being supporting some sort of a Nazi rally. So if you think people are Nazis and fascists and white supremacists, well, of course you think they're garbage, if that's where your world view. Yeah. Uh, and I think this is why they're having such trouble hiding this or trying to uh, yeah. spin it. They put themselves in a box because they want to say that he's Hitlerian and fascist, but then simultaneously say his supporters aren't. I think Brett Baer had asked Kamala specifically, like, oh, why are millions, tens of millions of people supporting him? Do you think they're stupid? And she didn't take that bait. She said, no, no, I would never say that about American people. And now she's in a box where she has to admit it.